Because of the pandemic, there are some major changes this year. We got a behind the scenes look at some of the preparations underway to keep fans safe. I'm going to be really excited to have fans in a ballpark. From sanitizing seats to prepping the field, Clover Park is ready to welcome Mets fans back for the team's spring training home opener against the Astros. We worked hard over the last couple of days. Just cleaning up, making final preps uh, just to get the ballpark ready for an 1130 opening. But it's not exactly the ballpark experience we're all used to. Like other local stadiums hosting spring training, the stadium will only run at 20% capacity, allowing about 1,400 people in at a time. One of the reasons tickets sold out so quickly. We always strive to keep people safe when they come to the ballpark in a normal world, but we're going a couple of steps, you know, extra. Groups of up to six people will be placed together, the rest of the seats zip tied shut to allow for social distancing. Over in the grass area, a similar model with only four people allowed per spray painted square. And unlike previous years, rows closest to the field are closed off. If you want a bite to eat, this is what the new normal looks like. A plexiglass barrier between concession stand staff and fans with touchless pay options available. I mean, it's been 355 days since our last ball game here. So this is a, a big step forward, I think, to uh, some sort of uh, normalcy. Masks will be required once inside. First pitch will be at 1.10 p.m. Reporting from Port St. Lucie, Josie Carbonari, WPBF 25 News. <laughs>